Hey guys, so now that your domain is registered, uh, probably on Namecheap, it's time to um, go to HostGator and get it host. Me and Becker strongly recommend HostGator because they have some of the lowest prices and also their support is awesome. Like if you submit a ticket, you'll probably get an answer within a minute. And also they do automatic backups. Uh, it happened in the past for me to have a few of my websites get hacked and having those automatic backups was really a blessing because on other hosting providers that I have I have maybe four or five accounts with different companies most of them don't do automatic backups and that really sucks okay so you can choose between a monthly six month or one year um, plan uh, I guess you have the other ones too but I'm sure most of you will either go monthly or one of these so if you go for the monthly, I recommend that you use the Pass Income SEO coupon, which will basically make the first month free and saving you $8. And if you go for the six month or one year uh, plan, you want to use the Get25 rebate to get an even lower price than this. So let's say you go for the one year one. So here they say, oh, I like, Spring, you have chosen your most valuable coupon. It's good marketing, but so this coupon will actually give you another five percent off, and then you can enter your domain name. So testaccount.com. Continue to step two. So here you have your twenty percent, uh, twenty-five percent off. If you want to change it, you can. You can confirm that you have the baby plan, which is the middle one. If you're wondering the difference between baby and business, it's really just because business need a unique IP for um, owning an e-store. So that's really not helpful for you unless you actually want to start an e-commerce website. So here you put your username, your password, fill out your info, blah, 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 create account. Okay, so now right after this step, you'll get an email from HostGator and they'll give you uh, two DNS settings that will look something like this but with different numbers unless you're extremely lucky and you get the exact same ones as these. So what you want to do is on Namecheap you want to go to your domain and in manage domain you want to go to uh, an option that looks like this domain name server setup or DNS for short. Uh, yours will The first time you actually put some DNS it will look different uh, the icon but it's something similar to this near the top of your options so you want to do specify custom DNS servers and put yours here whatever it may be boom boom and then you'll want to do save changes and then in the same email that HostGator sent you you'll have a login um, link so you want to click on that link and then put your info that you put when you reg uh, when you bought it on HostGator, and then you'll be brought into the domain, uh, the hosting account cPanel. So you probably want to do an email account, and usually I make that email account forward to my um, one of my main emails. Then you want to go further down on cPanel and check. Fantastico Deluxe and this is where you'll install really quickly WordPress. So click here on WordPress. New installation. You can put whatever you want here as your username for login, your password, your nickname, you can just put admin if you want or your real name, doesn't matter info like if you created an email account on the previous step you probably want to put it here site name so test account and the description super slogan click on finish installation okay so this is the final screen here you'll get a link to your WordPress administrator login account so you click there and you put your username and password and that's it, you can start blogging. If, on the other hand, you don't see it appear right now, then it simply means that Namecheap didn't um, 
link your uh, hosting account with your domain name. So just go back, make sure the DNS settings are correct, and then you can just wait. Um, what I love about Namecheap is that they're extremely quick, so usually this can take me between 1 and 10 minutes. Um, if it takes longer, then just try again in a few hours, I guess, and that's it.